Hello everyone and happy Earth Day! So this is the video that I've been uh, talking about or that I told you about at the beginning of the week. Um, it's the weaving project with found objects and it's connecting to nature for Earth Day. So I'm going to walk you through the steps of this project and give you the resources that I have and hopefully if you have any questions, you can send me an email and I can walk you through the steps. So before we begin, let's talk a little bit about the weaving vocabulary, just so you understand the parts of the loom. So the first thing is the loom itself. So the loom is the woven frame or the frame you're going to weave. Second is the weft. So the weft is the material that's being woven left to right. And then the warp is the strings forming the structure of the weaving. So when we're preparing our loom, we're preparing the warp. So you're making the warp. And then the things in nature that you're finding are the weft. Those are the things that you're weaving into your loom. So to begin, you're going to want to start off with a piece of cardboard. A thicker piece of cardboard is really good, so you might want to have a parent or an adult help you cut this out. Also, if you have paint or markers or crayons, you can add color to your cardboard. This way you can add another element of design to your work. Once you have your cardboard cut, and keep it rather small, um, maybe 6 inches, max 12 inches, to begin with, you don't want it to be too big. Then you're going to find the, your binding, something that you're going to use to weave your objects in and out of. For this one, I chose pipe cleaners because I had them, but you can use rubber bands, you can use yarn, you can use ribbons, you can, you can use so like string, whatever you have. Um, rubber bands would be easy because you could just pull them and snap them right onto that cardboard. So that might be a really um, nice, easy option for you um, if you're just starting. Um, then once you have all of your either rubber bands or strings strung around what's the cardboard, which is what's called the loom, um, you're gonna wanna start weaving. So the process of weaving is just over, under, over, under, up, down, up, down. So as you can see from this image, the leaf that I found started going under the yellow and then over the orange. So you would then weave your objects through from one side of your loom through all of your strings to the other side of the loom. All right, now for option two. This one's a bit more advanced. So you're gonna need different materials. You're going to need some sticks and some yarn. So I'm gonna walk you through how to prep your loom first. So that's like the frame for your weaving. Now it's time to prepare your loom. So you'll be using your yarn or your string to wrap around your frame. So hopefully you can see from this photo that I started with my yarn on the upper left hand side. I tied a little knot and then I strung it over to the right side, wrapped it around, came back to the left, went over to the right, and kept going back and forth. Um, you wanna make sure that your string is tight because this is essentially what's gonna hold your objects in place. So now for the fun part. Go outside in your backyard, go into nature, 
Find objects that are unique. Look for a variety of textures, different colors if you can find it, and then weave those objects into your loom. And when you're all finished, find a place to display it. Thank you for doing this project. I hope you had a good time and send me some pictures of what you've made. I look forward to seeing your work. Have a great day. Happy Earth Day!